Hello everyone and welcome back to Sendix Weber channel bonus video. <laughs> I am back looking at the latest from the 12Z suite of runs to see what they are showing. Hey, uh, someone sounds a bit excited and that might be me, might not be me, you never know. But yeah, we are looking at the latest runs because they are looking very interesting. Drop a like on this video for these charts because if they came off, boy oh boy would we be laughing. Maybe not necessarily for Christmas. But around the Christmas period, hmm, looking good. <laughs> I'll never say that. What am I doing? I'm going mad. But yeah, if you do enjoy today's video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I do appreciate your continued support. Send it to Happy Guy. Please let it happen, this ECM run. So yeah, starting off looking at the ECM run, we're looking on WX charts today uh, because it looks better than um, Better Central, this run does anyway. Um, so yeah, obviously at the moment we're in a westerly flow. Low pressure systems going between Scandinavia and Iceland and dragging in a west southwesterly airflow. The decisive factor in the change in weather patterns is this area of low pressure on the 21st. You can see it here. This low pressure system is dropping southwards. We're sending it south. And as that low pressure system drops south, the wind reverts into an easterly wind as higher pressure builds up towards Scandinavia. We send it to Scandi. And the winds revert into an easterly direction. Now, you can see with the ECM run, there is a lot of discrepancy between the model runs. They, I think this is a very likely scenario. Higher pressure up towards Scandinavia and winds from an easterly direction. However, higher pressure is not far enough northwards to bring in a proper easterly flow and allow snow showers. But it would be cold um, with this scenario. Don't be, um, don't be fooled that it wouldn't be cold. If you look at the upper temperatures, you can see colder air aloft. But, obviously, as we go beyond that is where things get really interesting. Into the extended range, by day 10, higher pressure is moving northwards. It's moving further northwards between Iceland and Scandinavia. We send it to Scandi. That's a proper Scandi high. That, that is a really good Scandi high. And winds revert into a full-blown easterly direction. We've got a cold plunge of air into Eastern Europe. And we are sending that cold air towards the UK. And as you can see, cold air begins to move towards us. Now, eventually, it does look like higher pressure is going to build again back to the north. And we could set another easterly flow going again. Um, but look at those temperature anomalies. Bitterly cold air moving through the UK. Look at that on the 28th of December. Bitterly cold air about, <laughs> so it's like 10 degrees below average. Um, that one, as you can see, at 850 HPA. The two metre temperature um, anomalies are also below average you can see there they are quite far below average as well with that really cold air mass moving in um, from the west you can see the minus 10 line through central and eastern britain there extending onto the south coast paul your shed uh, well actually yeah paul your shed might get some snow there um also you james although you wouldn't actually get that much this time maybe even suit would see a few flakes with that one uh, which would be quite um extraordinary wouldn't it <laughs> If you have a look actually around then, um, at the snow potential from this run, um, it's just loading as we speak, but you can see snow showers packing into the east and the southeast. Look at that, plenty of snow showers around uh, with this run. Looking pretty epic, I must say. Plenty of snow showers, a little feature there on the 28th of Central Britain. Let's go, Barnsley getting snowed in. Whoa! <laughs> Um, obviously, this is just a, this is obviously just a long way out and very uncertain, but it shows the possibility if we get a proper easterly wind, and it's, it um, echoes what I said in the earlier video from today, that, you know, it doesn't take much to get that cold air into the east, and once we get that cold air into the east, things can start to develop. So it's all looking very interesting, because you see at the very end of the run, high pressure still up to the north, and you can see another cold plunge taking place into eastern Europe, and again, if we drag that wind into an easterly direction once again, colder air is back in. So a very epic run, to be fair, from the ECM WF. Looking at the latest UFS, because obviously cross molar consensus is good. Again, this is a really epic run as well. Higher pressure up to the north by the 24th of December, Christmas Eve. And we are into a proper full-blown easterly airflow. Like I said before, there's a lot of uncertainty around the Christmas period. But that would be an epic run. We've got a proper... Eastly airflow. You'd expect snow showers to be peppering the east and southeast with that, maybe even drifting further inland through Christmas Day. You can see throughout the last few days of the month, higher pressure is hovering around and just to the north of the country. Winds in from an easterly direction, so staying cold, frosty, probably not snowy because we're under high pressure, um, but cold and 
and dry as well. Dry, cold and frosty favoured them. At the very end, a little bit more of a normally influence, but still not bad at all. Now, quickly moving over to Wetter Central to have a very quick look at the AI FS latest run, uh, which is also looking pretty good. This one has had a bit of a bias towards milder conditions um, leading up to Christmas, but now it has changed. And as you can see, look at this. So we've got the low pressure systems moving in from off the Atlantic. That cutoff low drops southwards on the 21st and heights build towards Scandinavia. Now, a lot of the time, this um, this high pressure has been toppling with the AIFS, um, AI ECMWF run, if you're wondering. It's basically the AI version of the ECM, the European model. Um, a lot of the times, low pressure has been pushing against the high pressure and toppling it southwards. But with this run, higher pressure stronger, so builds towards Scandinavia and drags the wind in from an easterly airflow. We drag the wind in from an easterly airflow and turn things colder, with even a few wintry showers in the south. That is very rare for the AI model to show. The minus 10 line across France there, looking pretty cold there, and possibly wintry in the south. Ooh, that's looking good. Into the extended range of the AI ECM, higher pressure is maintained around the country, so very similar to the GFS, before signs of possibly ridging out to the northwest of the UK once again, and maybe plunging us colder again, sending the cold air southwards towards the UK again, and causing us to see some colder air. Still, I'm placing my bets on a quite dry Christmas, but maybe after that, the signs are getting good. It's one to watch for sure. Whoopsie daisies. It's one to watch for sure. As you can see, the temperatures are around to above average until around the 22nd of December, when a definitive drop is taking place within the GFS ensembles towards colder or cooler or cold conditions from around Christmas onwards. There are some very cold runs in the mix there. Now, obviously, unlikely they've very cold runs, but you can see there's a bit of clustering getting together around the minus 5 to minus 7 line uh, between Christmas Day and the New Year. I think towards the New Year it could get very cold, as I mentioned in, again in earlier videos. Uh, but yeah, looking quite good. The AI ECM is also looking very good in its ensembles. This was the sixth set, so you can see it was quite around average, really. You know, around Christmas, pretty average Christmas favours, maybe slightly milder than average. Looking at the 12Z, though, the latest runs, there's been a bit of a flip. Flip, flop, flip. <laughs> yeah, you can see a lot more cold clustering around Christmas there. Um, and just after as well, looking quite cold there from the AIECM, which is quite rare. It doesn't really show below average conditions that much. It is the most accurate model, though, um, which takes a lot more days than the GFS to show colder scenarios. But usually when it's on it, it's on it like a car bonnet. Let me tell you, it looks pretty good there, though. Um, and, um, yeah, I would say that's quite encouraging as well for coldies out there. Let's go. <laughs> so, all signs are looking good for cold conditions to take over into the latter half of the month. Now, at the extent of the cold, the longevity of the cold is all to play for. But I do think it's coming. It's coming. Winter is coming. Um... That ECM, if it were to come off, would be pretty epic in the south and southeast, I must say. Um, even for central Britain, with those um, snow bands moving through in those strong easterly winds, kind of a beastly easterly, but definitely not to the same extent, that's for sure. But yes, one to watch. Thank you all for watching today's video. you got happy send it today. Tomorrow you'll see sad send it when all these charts fall apart. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.